Hello, I'm Richard, also known as Pond Guru, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an igloo. I've been promising viewers that I would do a, a better video of how to build an igloo, and we've got a little bit of snow now. This probably is only about two and a half to three inches, but it seems reasonably good for making snowballs. So we're going to try and make another igloo with these old washing up bowls to make the bricks, a shovel to gather the snow and a bread knife to shape the bricks. Right, we've cleared a space where roughly where the igloo is going to be. It's going to be in here with the entrance out here looking down over the fields. Freer and James are making the bricks out of hard packed snow in the washing up bowls. And now all we need to do is take these, knock them out and we've got a good brick and the beauty of using these things is you see how they're angled that gives you the slope so that enables you to build it around so we've started knocking the blocks out you see how this angle fits in here lovely gonna get a bit of loose snow pack it into the joints and work our way all the way around That's about halfway around the first layer. I've yet to put those two last bricks in. But you can kind of see how it's been built up and just worked in. Snow packed in around either side of the wall. Filling in all the joints. These ones have still got to be filled in. Now we're going to use a knife to make this fit nicely into the wall. This is going to be our tunnel entrance. A reasonable fit and then the next block that goes on top will cross that joint just like building a wall do the same on the other side build that out that's the whole bottom layer in now see that you well you can't see any joints and the angle of the bowl is angled this way so we've got high going to low that'll give us the curve of the igloo when we build up subsequent layers That's the second layer on now, just starting with the third. We haven't packed the snow in all the way around here. We're actually going to build the whole thing because it's starting to snow and uh, I haven't got any waterproofs. And we're starting to get cold because the kids have been out for long enough before I came out. What I am going to do is just go around with a knife and just put an angle on all of these. Just make sure that the angle is, is right so that when we put the next ones on, it continues to bend around into a circular shape to make the dome of the igloo. You can see how it's kind of coming together now. It's starting to get the igloo sort of a shape. And you can see all the blocks which the kids have been making with the snow in the bowl. You can see there's still gaps here. We haven't filled those in because we're going to build all this up first and then fill in all the gaps. See how this bit here is doming in. The next block I put in on the top level probably be across here to brace these two sides and also give me something to work from heading each way around this level. That's almost done now. Claire and James are filling in all the little cracks with loose snow inside here. This top bit is probably the most difficult bit in a large igloo. You'd probably have to be inside to do this. In fact you definitely would. Um, a lot of these blocks are having to be cut. So this one here is just a very small block. There's a big one in there. So maybe there's going to be another big one in here followed by a big one at the back then filled in with small ones. You can drop these into position quite hard. They'll more or less bond with the other ones. And once you scrape a bit of snow over the top, it's almost just like tacking them all together. So once the whole structure is tacked together, 
all the gaps and joints and everything can be filled in with loose snow. That's just about it put together. Now all that remains is, whilst it's been filled in from inside, is to fill all these gaps in from outside as well. And smooth it all over. That really lets all of these blocks get very well stuck together. That's the inside of the igloo all smoothed out now. I'll just stand in front of the doorway, darken it off so you can see. Very little light coming in through it. It needs a nice bed of snow on the bottom, but it's more or less done. That's it, completed there. Unfortunately, I've lost my two child labourers because it's very cold and it's starting to get a bit wet as well. They were freezing, so they've gone inside to warm up, but when they come out, they'll find out that it's finished and they can have a good old play in it. If the snow hasn't melted by then, I don't think it will have. Now that it's finished, you can't see where any of the blocks are. All the gaps and lines have been filled in with snow and packed tight, really smoothed off. Compared to the size of the actual chamber, the tunnel might appear to be fairly big, but I've got to get into it as well. See, it's lovely and smooth inside. The floor's got snow packed onto it, and it looks a hell of a lot cleaner than the last one I did, because the last one I did was in the dark and I was picking up cow muck and all sorts so this one is a hell of a lot cleaner this is the next morning after another reasonable snowfall of about a couple of inches see how well it's blended in now that's pretty awesome I'm pleased with that and no doubt once the kids get out of bed they'll be pleased with it too